it's been a year now since Silk Road was taken down by the feds, um, and Ross Ulbricht, its alleged operator, was arrested. And it's been really slow in the case for, like, discovery of evidence and stuff like that, and, like, the prosecution is still withholding some evidence from the defense. But um, one of the things that came out last month uh, concerning the Ross Ulbricht case was that the FBI discovered the Silk Road servers um, by looking at a, a leaky CAPTCHA um, form on the Silk Road website. So like you would log in and, and it would show a random set of numbers and letters that you have to enter in to prove that you're, you know, that you're not a robot. But the problem was that that was somehow linked to the clear net, the regular internet, and it was leaking, you know, data that that wasn't hidden by Tor. So that was that was what the FBI said that they used that to find the Silk Road servers and um and basically take them down. Um but a lot of technical experts who are experts in this kind of thing in computer science and how these systems actually work uh looked at that argument and said that it doesn't really make a lot of sense and it's not technically possible and that it's most likely that the FBI is lying about how they uh, took down the servers and um, that yeah it's it's it, the, the FBI is basically full of shit concerning how they how they got that information um, they're trying to pull one over on everyone who doesn't know about the technical intric intricacies about this stuff but the people who are aware of the technical aspects are looking at this and like, this doesn't really add up. It doesn't really make sense. Um, and, you know, we're getting into tinfoil hat territory here a little bit, conspiracy <laughs> level stuff. But, like, it's possible that they kind of got it another way, got the servers another way, found out them um, through some sort of hacking, through some sort of surveillance that isn't technically legal and they are using the CAPTCHA argument as a form of parallel construction to kind of point to evidence where there wasn't necessarily uh, any evidence of that. Because that, that would be legal, right? If they found the info through um, a flaw in the CAPTCHA code on the Silk Road website. Oh, like, okay, the operator was just negligent and he messed up and, and didn't cover all of his bases. And that's how they found him. But if that's not true, how did they actually find the info? And why aren't they revealing that? So it raises a lot of questions about the legitimacy of the federal government's arguments in this case. And it kind of makes you wonder, like, what, you know, if they wanted to take down Silk Road bad enough, what links would they go to to do this? And probably pretty, pretty pretty um far lengths to to take it down and not necessarily legal either but they can't they can't admit that it's illegal methods in court or else they wouldn't convict Ross Ulbricht so they have to kind of make up this other thing on the side about the captcha leak and um so yeah it's it's kind of it's kind of messed up and it all got it'll it'll get hashed out in court and hopefully the jury isn't you know duped by the prosecution's um, faulty arguments about this thing and hopefully the technical experts actually have a say in debunking this so yeah what do you what do you think so this I mean the technical stuff is way over my head I've yeah mine you too. know I, I, I looked through the article I have no idea what this dude is talking about but it would not surprise me in the slightest if the FBI was lying about how they gained access to the servers um from what I from what I did understand was basically there's no way the FBI could have accessed the servers the way that they did because there's a really strong wall between the front end and the back end of of the servers and you have to do like some super you know hacking thing to get to the back end um but yeah it it wouldn't surprise me at all if the FBI did that because um we know that that the U.S. government doesn't care about following the law because we have things like the NSA 
and um, this, uh, you know, police story that we're going to talk about in a second, not really federal government, but, you know, it's still the same idea. Law enforcement. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't care about following the law because, you know, they're effectively above the law, even if they're not legally. And, um, you know, Ross Ulbricht's legal team has already accused the FBI of not having a warrant to search the servers. Um, and that's totally believable too, you know? I, be I believe them because they've done all kind they've done all kinds of shady things in the past. It just it just goes to show that uh, that the federal government will pretty much do anything to stop things that it doesn't like, even if it doesn't have the authority to, to do it. And it's kind of scary, to be honest, but it's not surprising, which is sad. Like, being being scared has become the norm, you know? And I hate it. Yeah, if, they, if, if you are a target for them and they want to take you down, they'll find some way to do it and, and, and basically try and build up the evidence after the fact. Uh, you know, uh, Which is this... exactly what they're doing with Ross Ulbricht. You know, the, they arrested him and they started building their case after they arrested him. Yeah. Yeah, after they arrested him, they, then they took the servers, they took the bitcoins, did all that stuff, and then basically decided after the fact, oh, you know, there was this flaw in the CAPTCHA. That's how there was a leak in the code and it was connected to the clear net and that's how we got him. Uh, it's 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 shady. It's shady, man. Like they 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 find a target and it's like, okay, let's take this guy down. And they it's there's a term for it: parallel construction. They construct a parallel set of of possible evidence how they could have gotten him after the fact that that would theoretically go through legal channels, but doesn't didn't necessarily happen. And that's how they that's what they use to win a court case against him because you can be damn sure that the jury in the courtroom regular people who are just summoned for jury duty don't know crap about the technical aspects of leaky captcha code and whether or not the government would just kind of make that up in order to construct a case against someone who they want to convict no matter no matter what and damn they want to convict Ross Solberg bad like this guy ran a uh, completely free market on the on the dark net allegedly and, and and basically allowed drug sales uh between free people non-violent people who you know didn't really hurt anyone besides the fact of maybe just um supporting some people's drug addictions but you know voluntary sales and um it's like no this this is, goes too far, way too far. We've got to take this guy down and, and construct a case later on about how we're going to put him in jail and make an example out of him for future people who might try and do this. And he's... Ross Orberg is going to prison no matter what. Um, you know, he's, he's going to go away even if there's just, just definitive evidence that... Um, the federal government completely just grossly broke the law. Um, he's still, they're still going to find some reason to put him away. And if they don't, if he gets let off, he's going to mysteriously disappear. Like, Ross Ulbricht is not going to be, because the federal government doesn't want him to be. Um, and, and they have the power to do things like that, which, again, is really scary and wrong.